Donna Heilman, what's the impact of these tapes? <laughs> well, good morning, Joe, Mika, Willie, um, and, and everyone else. Uh, I think. You know, it's it's it is it's too soon to it's it's too soon to say exactly. Obviously, Joe, what the what the impact will be, but I'll but I'll say a few things. I mean, one of them is that, you know, the the, the context for this, and you guys alluded to this in the six o'clock hour, is where we are on the calendar and the, where we are in terms of the clock. Right, fifty four days before election day, voters in North Carolina are already voting. Next Monday, voters in Pennsylvania start voting. Shortly after that, voters in Michigan start voting, and then early voting rolls out across the country. So the, the fantasy that the White House would like to, to try to cling to is, well, we still have a lot of time. They don't have a lot of time. Election day is now. So, John, how damaging to Trump's chances, to the extent you think he has a chance still, uh, is what Ryan did and the things we saw over the weekend of people disendorsing Trump and saying that he should step down. Uh, look, I think that 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 the that all of this, the sight of the Republican Party uh, fleeing Trump over the weekend, now the sight, even though he didn't disendorse Trump, the sight of uh, the, the Paul Ryan telling, basically telling his members, it's every man for himself now, um, is going to send a bad message to the kind of voters that Trump would need if he were going to become competitive in the race. And let's be clear, on the basis of that NBC Wall Street Journal poll, Donald Trump is not remotely close to competitive right now for the presidency. I'm not saying, I mean, we've got another four weeks, anything could happen, I suppose. But right now, he's not, he's not even close to being competitive. And so I think that the, the, the Ryan thing could have been worse, but it's not good. So now with 54 days left on the clock and voting happening, we are talking about exactly what the Biden campaign wants to talk about, what the Trump campaign does not want to talk about. And we know because of the, how a Woodward book rolls out, something that Donald Trump had no understanding of, another Washington institution that Donald Trump was clueless about was Bob Woodward. What now happens? What now happens is right. the days of coverage of this, of what we already have from the book, then Woodward goes on 60 Minutes, the most watched television show in America on Sunday night, and brings out more audio tapes, more of Donald Trump's words, stoking another series of news cycles. You've got at least another week of this book dominating coverage across television. Seven days, at least, of the next, of the remaining 54 days. More than 10% of the remaining time on the clock is going to be bad news cycles for Donald Trump at a time when he is behind everywhere, in every battleground state and nationally. So, Joe, what's the ultimate impact? I, impossible to measure right now, but greater than I think most people, even people who think it's, a, it's bad for Donald Trump, I don't think fully understand how bad. And I think that the, mm -hmm. the impact is this is one of the rare kind of media events because the president is involved in it. We've never had tapes from a Woodward book before. We've had a, you know, dozens of Woodward books, never before with tape. This, the impact of this is incalculable. Uh, and, and again, we'll see exactly how bad, but it is bad. Uh, for Donald Trump and quite good for the Biden campaign. Donald Trump is not remotely close to competitive right now. Donald Trump is not remotely close to competitive right now. Donald Trump is not remotely close to competitive right now.